In this lesson, we are going to look at an intermediate sketch tool called Convert Entities. Now this particular tool is a big time saver. But before we get into how this works, let's talk about what we have on the screen. On the screen you see a 3D model and a reference plane. Up to this point, we have not covered either of these. Unfortunately, I was required to create a 3D model and a reference plane in order to discuss convert entities. So if you would like to work along with me, go into your work and files folder and open the part called convert entities. So let's begin. What is convert entities? Convert entities allows you to take existing geometry and project it onto your current sketch plane. So what is the benefit of that? Well, it saves you time redrawing geometry which already exists in the model. Let's take a look at how to do it. I'm going to start a new sketch. And I'm going to create my new sketch on this plane one. So I'll select plane one, and then I'll go to convert entities. A simple property manager opens. I'll go back to the screen and select this edge of the part. I want to bring this edge into my current sketch. I'll roll the model, grab this back edge. Notice in the property manager, I have all four edges. I'm going to go ahead and click the green check mark. And notice that profile was projected onto my current sketch plane. Also notice that all of the lines are black and it says fully defined for this sketch. However, we don't see any smart dimensions and we don't see any geometric relations that we recognize. We just see these four here that we haven't seen before. These relations are called on edge. Now what does that mean? Well that simply means if you update this original geometry that this sketch was created from, this sketch here will update with it. So let's give that a try. I'm going to close out of the current sketch. I'm going to go back to my property manager, expand the boss extrude one, and then edit the sketch that was used to create the original profile. I'll edit the sketch. And let's change this number here to 100. And we'll also change this center to center distance to 100. The original geometry updates. When I close out of the sketch, you'll see the sketch created on this reference plane is also updated. To verify that, I can go to a top view and you'll see the two are on top of one another. 